Hey, happy Friday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now, we have multiple powerful storms that are setting up and bringing a lot of chances for tornadoes. Not only will we have still a PTC-16 over here off the East Coast, having hard problems getting a surface low, actually getting the name Ophelia, but you're still going to get the impacts from the wind and from the rain, and the storm surge has grown as well. Plus, what's over here for the central U.S., we're still for the upper Midwest, the south central, a big banning of storms coming, still bringing a lot of severe weather. Matter of fact, a big area of chances for tornadoes. Now, I'm going to show you all the latest impacts. That way you know what to expect. Never been here before. Make sure you subscribe. I am all year long. Now, all these blue circles right here, all these big blue rings, this is indicative to you getting tropical storm force winds. At least 39 miles per hour sustained winds. That's why you have the tropical storm warnings and all this blue going all the way up into Maryland. So if you're inside any of these blue circles, you can expect at least 39 miles per hour sustained winds, up to 73, but at least 39 coming through with this system. And there is chances for tornadoes. Just like I told you last week, this banding is going to bring you chances for tornadoes. Well, here it is. I will go through a little more detail for you, but you can see right here how you have all this tornado warnings. And it's even more severe as you get along the coast. This is where the main flooding is and the tornado threat will be, but you still have it up here for today. Also for tomorrow, you have chances for tornadoes in this region for tomorrow as well as it moves further up the coast. Today is gonna to be stronger, but you still have it for tomorrow. Plus, as you go back up and see what we have for the rest of the US, you can see we also have the tornado threat for the upper Midwest for today, and this is gonna grow really big time for tomorrow. So we'll go through what you have for your impacts and what your chances are, because there's a lot of winds as well for today, but for tomorrow, your tornado chance is gonna grow, and it's gonna grow big time, guys. We have it going all the way up from Minnesota, all the way down towards Oklahoma, as we get that big banding coming in. So I'm gonna show you all the latest information that way you know what to expect. Thank you so much for your time. Hope you all have a very blessed day today. Now going back over here for a second for the PTC, you can see it already is strong guys. It already has 51 miles per hour winds and it's moving 11 miles per hour to the north and it has gained in speed. It was moving eight, now it's moving 11. It's moving even faster to the north. But those winds are sustained winds. 50 miles per hour sustained winds. Now it is going to get strong and as it comes in for the east coast, it is going to be up to 54 miles per hour sustained winds. Definitely within this circle, strongest right here along the coast. And as it keeps moving along, you see it will start weakening down. It'll go down to 46. Then as it goes towards Maryland and Delaware, it leaves Virginia at 38 and it starts going towards 35. So it starts weakening down with the sustained winds. So definitely North Carolina is going to get the blunt end of this storm. Plus, we still have what's in the MDR, and it is a lot of clarification this morning, especially in the model runs. It is sitting at 70% in 48 hours, 90% in the next seven days become Philip. Matter of fact, all the model guidance is agreeing that this is going to turn out immediately. It's not going to wait and prolong to the west, affect Puerto Rico or Bahamas. This is curving very fast. Storm surge has gone up some. So remember, all these links are in descriptions. So as it updates, guys, now they're expecting one to three feet in all this blue up here. Plus, you have two to four feet now in all this yellow. But now they're expecting three to five feet over here for these rivers. So just be aware if you live next to these rivers, they will overflow and it will be some inundation on your land. And it's one to three feet over here towards South Carolina and the edge of North Carolina. So everything has bumped up a little bit. It can bump up a little bit more as well. So I have this link for you in the description as well. It is a zoomable link. It lets you know what your chances for your storm surge inundation. If you scroll down, you'll see that the blue is greater than one foot. The yellow is greater than three. Then you got the orange greater than six and then greater than nine. But you can zoom in and see where your one foot and three foot storm surge inundation is expected. And this is above normally dry ground. So you know what to expect out of the rivers near your home. So please go to the links in the description for there. Also over here for Southern Maryland. You can see what we have so far on the updates. As it gets a little closer, this will update to more areas and maybe even more impacts. So this will let you know what you need to prepare for as far as flooding. I will show you the winds. The winds is going to be widespread, but this is as far as the inundation. What's coming into your yard possibly from those rivers. Matter of fact, if you zoom in a little bit more towards North Carolina, going towards Greenville, you can see that they actually have 
some places that has storm surge inundation above six feet. It's already going to be coming in your area. So even though it says three to five, one to four, you have a lot of inundation that's coming up to six feet in your area. So far, it's showing around Washington. But this is going to be a lot of storm surge inundation. This is going to affect a lot of people. Look at the size of the area this is going to be hitting. And then it's going to move further north the next day. Chances for tornadoes as well. So we do have a map according to National Hurricane Center. What your rainfall amounts will be. It will be widespread. It is bringing chances for two to four inches all the way up towards the northeast. They have it going all the way into Pennsylvania, New York, southern half of Massachusetts, and lower. Everyone else is going to be in two to four inches of rainfall. Plus, you got a hot spot in all this yellow. This is all four to six inches of rainfall and the coast of North Carolina can get six to ten as well. So please be careful. This is bringing a lot of flooding. Matter of fact, today they have it as the worst day. So through Saturday, they have it all the way down to where you're going to have the moderate section involved. A lot of chances for flooding through Sunday is going to be there and through Monday is going to move further to the northeast. So the whole outlook is this right here. What your warnings will be under, whether it's marginal, a slight risk or even the moderate level risk for flash flooding but whether it gets a closed low or not you are getting tropical storm impacts guys and you can see right here just for a chance for a tropical storm they have it up to a hundred percent chance 90 to 100 for a tropical storm to form so it is waiting for a closed low just to get the name regardless of the name it is going to be the same impacts guys plus with the winds bringing the severe weather also also some winds for today and for tomorrow this is going to grow as well a lot of damage and winds coming in the next two days so over here for the northwest you still have this rotating group of thunderstorms that's going to the upper midwest going to bring their problem for tomorrow as well still getting all that major snowfall a lot of it is going to be in the higher elevations but i've been showing for about a week now that you're going to be getting that snowfall and it is here and you are getting that snowfall as we go into tomorrow morning that's when the banding is going to come across the Dakotas, go into Minnesota and start strengthening up for that chance for all those tornadoes as well. And that's when Washington and Oregon is going to get some banding, some rainfall coming across your way as well and your snowfall. So out of the 140 people that lives in Cook City, you will be getting the major snowfall. Everyone else will be stuck in higher elevations getting the major snowfall. But y'all have a great chance of getting it for this weekend. Also have it as a zoomable map, but so far it's showing Cook City, where I just showed you 140 people living there. Y'all could get up to eight inches of snow coming out of that system. So just be aware of that. You could have some major snow coming your way. Plus the winds, ARRR is showing 40 and 50 miles per hour wind gusts coming through Wyoming, eastern Nevada. Also what's coming through Colorado. Overnight, early in the morning as that system moves by, it's going to start ramping up to 60, maybe even 70 miles per hour wind gusts for Wyoming and Colorado as that goes to the upper Midwest for tomorrow. 40, 50, and 60 miles per hour wind gusts for y'all as well as all this line of storms ramps up towards Texas, brings y'all the chances for tornadoes. So as you're getting your snow all evening long, there will be some storms in the south for today. And as we go overnight into tomorrow morning, then he's going to move across the Dakotas, get some storms into Wisconsin, get some storms moving across Minnesota. All even long, Minnesota and Dakotas is going to see these storms. But then it's going to start banding out all the way into Iowa as you go into later tomorrow night. And it's going to go even further to the south with all these cells. This is going to be a strengthening storm. Remember, we're going to have multiple low pressures just keeping this going. And any one of these cells could easily spin up a chance for a tornado, guys. It is a big area for tornadoes, especially for tomorrow. And showing that those winds will add up to 50 and 60 miles per hour wind gusts still as it plays through, especially today and tomorrow, and still has very strong wind gusts out there a little further into the Atlantic. So be careful, it is going to be dangerous. Showing a higher chance to get those significant waves, guys. It could get not only 10 to 12 feet, now it could get all the way up to 14, and in that red could get towards 16-foot waves. That's pretty high, and that's not our max. Our max goes even worse. So it could be up to 14 to 16-foot waves that comes out of this system as it moves by tonight, overnight, in the morning, and for tomorrow. 
tonight overnight into the morning looks like it's going to be the worst chance for the biggest waves to pass by so just be aware of that your riptides are going to be very strong please stay out the water but i do have this zoomable map that you can go look at it links in the description you can zoom in and see what your chances are i got it on h triple r next 48 hours chances for wind gusts this is going to create some power outages guys so all the way from myrtle beach it starts picking up from 50 all across eastern north carolina at least 50 all along the coast getting 60 maybe even get up to 70 miles per hour wind gusts very strong winds this is where i definitely expect to see some power outages on the coast of north carolina virginia get up to 40 to 50 miles per hour wind gusts going across maryland and delaware with 40 to 50 miles per hour wind gusts even across most of jersey with high 40 to 50. so it is bringing a lot of damage in wind gusts with it and the chance for 60 is all in the bays guys so please be careful you definitely have a lot of winds a lot of waves and a lot of flooding coming your way Plus, as this banding comes on shore, it's like I showed you last week. As that banding comes on shore, it's going to bring you the chances for the tornadoes. It looks like it is strongest for the east coast of North Carolina, and it will pick up for the east coast of Virginia as well, and still go up to southern Maryland, southern Delaware, bring you all the chances as well. This banding is going to create a lot of problems even those chances for those tornadoes. So for today, you do have chances for hail, even significant hail, two inches in diameter and is black. So far, here's the cities and states at risk for the hail for today. Large hail being a white line on top. You also have chances for winds. Not a big wind threat for today. This is coming later tonight into tomorrow morning, but it is 5% in multiple areas. Plus you have that chance for your tornadoes for today. Multiple areas showing strength in multiple places, guys. So far, here's your cities and states at risk for the tornado threat for today. Now, for tomorrow, this is going to grow some more. You have chances for hail for tomorrow. You have a big 5% area, also a big 15% area. There's going to be a lot of lightning strikes, a lot of strong updrafts, and chances for hail. So, so far, here's your cities and states at risk for Saturday for hail. Plus, it is bringing the high winds in the same areas, including what's coming over on the East Coast. Plus, you have that big tornado threat for tomorrow. Not only for the East Coast, also what's coming in through the Central Plains. A big 2% area that could grow, guys. So far, here's your cities and states of your main cities at risk for tornado threat for Saturday. And for Sunday, there's another severe weather risk as this continues to go even further to the south, guys. I know you need a rainfall in the south, but it is bringing the storms with it. So far, here's your cities and states at risk for severe weather for Sunday. I will update this first thing in the morning. I think a video for Saturday is warranted due to there's a big tornado chance for tomorrow. Plus, it's bringing a lot of rainfall even further down the line. But just in the next 72 hours with National Weather Service model, see what we have for our rainfall amounts. And you can see it's one to almost two inches all across Dakotas, Minnesota going all the way down towards DFW. A huge area for flash flooding, guys. Believe that. And it's going to be really heavy all the way from North Carolina all the way towards the northeast but definitely two inches going through Connecticut, Rhode Island, through New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Virginia. All of y'all are getting a lot of rainfall and a big area going through North Carolina, five to six inches, all that brown right there. So just be aware, there's going to be a lot of flooding, big chances for tornadoes, and a lot of damage and winds. There will be a lot of power outages right here. So please prepare for that with your food. Also charge your phone so you can get alerts. Make sure you are ready for that. Plus, you can see a chance for a tropical depression in the wave in MDR. In five days, starts moving towards the northwest, but the shear starts hitting on it and weakens it down in six days, right when it moves towards the lesser Antilles. And it actually starts weakening down a little bit while that next wave moves towards the Cancun area, Western Caribbean, right towards the end of September. And you can see it does revolve all the way around in the Atlantic sooner or later. And all models are in agreement now that this storm system is getting pushed out by the high pressure and going out to the east. That was the GFS. This is the Euro as well. You can't see super far, but you can see the same thing. It's going to build up out here in Atlantic and go east. Canadian as well, except Canadian gives that next wave a little bit more oomph. 
than anybody else. But Canadian Wave is seeing that going that way as well. And that next one move into the West that we need to watch, of course. But so far showing that it is bringing a lot of banding towards North Carolina and Virginia, guys. So it looks like the banding will start moving in as we go through this morning. It will bring some strong banding all the way till noontime, all the way in North Carolina. But then you'll get those powerful bands moving through all evening long. Very powerful banding that's moving on, bringing you all the chances for the tornadoes. It is gonna move into Virginia Beach by the time you go into later this afternoon. And the strong banding is going to move into Virginia Beach as you go into dinner time tonight around 10 o'clock. This is when the storm really is going to start strengthening up a little bit and bringing a lot of the damage and winds, bringing that flooding. But you still got these strong bandings that's coming on, bringing the chances for your tornadoes. And guys, this is coming overnight as well. Storms are going to be brewing up as you go through 2 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. There's a lot of strong banning coming all night long while you're at home trying to sleep. Just be careful of all this onshore flooding, all this banding, bringing your chances for tornadoes. It is going to be a pretty significant event, even though it's just a PTC, a potential tropical storm. It's going to be a lot of flooding, a lot of chances for tornadoes, a lot of quick spin-ups. That's what they do on these type of systems and it's going to bring those damaging winds and the flooding is going to be one of your biggest issues so just be aware of that i will upload first thing in the morning i think we need one because it's going to be a big chance for an outbreak tomorrow with these tornadoes and it will pinpoint a little bit more i think it will shrink up just a little bit more but thank you so much for your time god bless you and your families i hope this information has helped you if it has helped you please consider leaving a like maybe subscribe i am all year long i will give you as much information as i can keep you as safe as i can and maybe as early of an alert as i can just to show you what is coming i do appreciate every single one of y'all now we'll upload tomorrow morning because there is chances for tornadoes just so that threat is there i think we should make sure people are safe as possible it will be a quick upload but for today i want to tell you real quick psalm 3 before you go into your friday yay friday <laughs> lord how are they increased that trouble me many are they that rise up against me many there be which say of my soul there is no help for him in god selah and selah means think about what you just heard but thou O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of mine head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. Selah. I laid me down and slept. I awaked, for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God. For thou hast smitten all mine enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. Selah. Read that again. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. Selah. Amen. Be safe today, everybody. Have a very great day. God bless you, and I hope the best for every single one of you. I will see you first thing in the morning for a quicker video. Just give you an update of possible places, possible timing of these impacts. Remember, all glory always goes to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I pray he always keeps you safe, you and your family, every single day of your life. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. And thank you, Father. Keep everyone safe. Have a great day, everybody.